Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Listech Solutions Tuesday Tech Tips. In today's tech tip I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft um, Forms within Outlook to create a poll. So um, what we've got here is I've opened an email, created a new email and then to add our poll I'm going to go to insert and then we have an option here for poll. So what this will allow you to do, it will allow you to send a, um, a questionnaire to people so that they can vote on. So maybe you can't get people in the room, maybe you need a decision to be made. Uh, and this is a very simple way of sending out a poll to multiple users and getting them to vote on it so you can get a response back. So if I click on poll here, in the, the new pane that's opened over here, get to choose uh, a question. So let's choose a question. And then we get to select what our possible answers are. So uh, we could be a simple yes, no. Um, we can add additional options. Um, and we can also um, allow multiple answers to be selected. So what that will do, it will change it from the radio button option here, which is only allowing one selection to allowing them to select multiples. But as this is a yes, no, maybe type answer, we only want to allow one answer. And then we click next. Um, this is going to show you what, we, what it will look like. And then we click add to email. So we can see it's added our link in here. So when we send this to our, um, uh, our users or our, our participants, it's going to uh, allow them to click on that link and then vote. So let's show you what that looks like. So I click in a link, it opens up a, a web browser and I get to vote. So do I like cheese? Yep. Yeah. I do a lot and then so I select my option and then I click vote. So then I get a sort of um, a feedback of, of what those results are. But as the poll creator, we may want to see, you know, the statistics of what's going on, who's voted which way. So to do that, we have to go into Microsoft Forms. So I've got Microsoft Forms open here. I'm just going to refresh that page and our new poll is here. If I click on that, it will open it up um, and then I can go into the responses section up here and I can see the variations in responses. I can even download it in Excel so I can see exactly what, uh, which way everybody voted. So as you can see, a very simple way to create a poll to get people to make a decision on something uh, can save you a lot of time, especially if you're not able to get people all together at the same time to make that decision. I hope this has been useful. I'll see you again next time.